Uh, we Fran are now Francesco's going to dagger work was not up to the, the, to the dynamic the speed of Dinarek's thrust. So now onto the gold medal. We have Sergei Koldaev of the Freifester Guild in St. Petersburg, Russia, against Alexei Perkov of Tramazone uh, from Moscow, Russia. Fencing in the blue corner from Freie Fechte Gilde in Russia, Sergei Kultayev. Kultayev, very, very formidable, formidable fighter. And in you will see him later day, day in fighting for gold Alexei in Alexei Perkov. Another Russian, Alexei Perkov. So Kultayev fighting for gold in two medals tonight. Kultov from the Free Fechte Gilde and Perkov in red. All right, Perkov from Tramazone in Moscow and uh, Kultov from St. Petersburg, again in Russia. It's interesting to see the comparison between the way he fights with rapier and dagger and the way he fights in longsword. It's very similar. The stance, the posture, the guard, very much the same. Also sort of a waiting a waiting game, but going on the offensive when necessary. Looks like a taking of the blade by Perkov, followed by a thrust. I think it landed on the arm, maybe, at one point. Very calm game so far, feeling each other out. Not sure if these two know each other. Beautiful thrust by Perkov. And you saw that uh, he very quickly covered. I, th I saw him cover the after blow. Uh, and the judges cut. agree. So he gets three clean points. Very nice. Very nice fencing by Alexei Perkov. Tramazoni. Very measured fencing here. But then very explosive at the end. Both sides feeling the other's blades. Oh, and a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> s sort of a sort of a sliding thrust, moving along the blade by Kultev. Look at this, going in on the pass and then following it up with a dagger thrust to the chest. Very nice. Ah, oh, another beautiful thrust by Perkov. Did it land? It did. Kultaev counted with a thrust to the torso. And Perkov's uh, thrust landed on the arm, it seems, yep. giving Kultaev two points. Perkov making a feint between the, the sword and dagger. It's always the place you want to be in rapier and dagger. Oh Beautiful thrust in between and a cover of the after blow with the dagger. Mm. Judges see it differently. Three points each. Yeah. Oh, you see it land oh. right there. Yeah, okay. I, he caught it with a dagger, but it went over the top. So what happened? A feint and a parry. Very tight control of distance by these two. This is beautiful fencing. Sometimes the Russians get a bad rap for, for ugly fencing in the finals, but this is beautiful fencing, I think. Nice, tight, clean, controlled, precise. Beautiful oh. thrust. By Koltev, running out to the side. That was the last exchange of the first round, it seems. The referee so having some words. But it's interesting to see Koltev, because he's, he's, he's primarily a counter-fencer, but you've seen him... Engage, lead, lead the attack here. And he, he definitely has that about him. It, yeah. it seems like he prefers to be a reactive fencer, but he also realizes when he's fencing someone who is of his caliber, as Perkov is, and then he will go on the offensive. He did exactly the same thing with T. Cool, 
in the eliminations where he started off being reactive and realized that was not going to serve him well. So he went on the offensive and managed to score some decisive points that gained him the victory over T's Cool earlier today, putting him in, in, in the gold sword. match in, in Longsword, long sword. putting him in the gold medal match for Longsword as well. Very versatile, very impressive fencer from St. Petersburg. The distance control here, the precision of motion is really beautiful to see. And Perkov, Lovely thrust by Perkov. Perkov's looking for the same opening here. Yes, He's looking for the opening between the knife, right. the, the, the dagger and the, the blade. Right. That's always and where you want to be in rapier and dagger. Beautiful unanswered thrust by Alexei Perkov yeah. to yeah. the torso of Sergei Koltaev. Very close fight so far. Look at this score. Right, so now we have uh, the end of round. So the, the pause we had before, it seems to have been a, a timeout. The, the referee wanted to address uh, Kulte for something. I, I have to uh, say, we're Scott, at a tie. I we're at a Scott, tie. I have to say, this. I think this may be, may be the best rapier and dagger final I've ever seen. There it's you are, Kulte. So clean. Kulte in picture there. He's so stoic. When yeah, he, walks he is. There. He is. And like a, carved out of granite. <laughs> With uh, a, a nose that has clearly been broken at some point in time. There seem to be a lot of those in Hema. Yeah. <laughs> Brazilian jiu-jitsu gets cauliflower and boxing get cauliflower ears. <laughs> Hema folks seem to sport scars on their heads and broken noses. I have to tell you how how happy I am with this this bout here. I mean, I'm very very impressed. So we're back, and it's hard to say what adjustments the fences need to make because yeah, they're both so, so clean, and it's just... And I don't think... A, they're a so even. I don't think a drastic change is warranted on either side. No. It's just so, a know, little a better of what you're doing. At this point, it's a toying cost. I think I think Koltev needs to be careful about Perkov's blade in between his... Yeah, he needs his. to watch out he for that. He needs to cover that line a little yeah. better with that dagger. Look at this. Look at this little bit of a faint, a little bit of a beat. Oh, oh, oh a thrust, but a miss. Thrust and a parry, I think it was, by by Perkov, followed we by a thrust. We see here the replay coming in. You see cool that coming in on the pass, I think. Flying yeah. in with a thrust, parry. Now, did that thrust land by Perkov? Judges didn't score it, so they did. Oh, one point, so they saw it land on the leg or the arm. It's a downward thrust. Yeah, yeah, I think that was it. I think it missed the high line, landed on the low line. Oh, interesting. Uh, Didn't catch the blade, double hit. Yeah, thrust. Oh, yeah. look at the blade. Bent the blade, blade of uh, Koltev severely bent. It's a nice uh, running thrust thrust on the pass by Koltev and a, and a volta by Perkov with a, a thrust and then a cut. Right, so Koltev taking the lead now in the second round, 10 to 7. It's one clean hit away from being a tie. Thrust by Perkov, closing in. I think maybe it was a dagger by Koltaev. Koltaev with a slight lead. It looked like a thrust by Perkov. So we have a change again. Now Perkov takes the lead. It is a seesaw fight here. Yeah, it's been up and down for and no, six and, and minutes. And well-deserved, well-deserved. I mean, it, this is anyone's game at this point still. So close, 11 to 10. Both excellent rapier and dagger fencers. This is the kind of fencing you want to see in a final. Beautiful thrust by Koltev that lands. I thought there was also an attempted Volta by Perkov that also landed. He didn't void. 
but I think he hit in return. You see that action there when both fly in yeah, on each yeah, other. But the, the, the idea there is to catch the opponent's dagger. It's not a suicide attack. You're, you, you're trying to do two simultaneous moves where you're thrusting with the sword and parrying with the dagger. It is an and sometimes you miss and you get those double, double right. hits. It is an exercise in coordination, this here, between left and right hand. Tension in the air. You can cut with a knife. Faint. Oh, Oy. beautiful thrust, but it looked like it went past. Three points each, it looks like. Judges cannot have seen very different results from the judges, but it scored three each. It's the end of the fight. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, yeah. End of the fight. We have a winner. Alexei Perkov. Oh, by the narrowest of the margins. Na oh, we 11 need to 10. Uh, that was a, a beautiful, beautiful match. We need a rematch. Fantastic. Fantastic. I want to see that fight again. That was beautiful.